Political parties in Venezuela are preparing for the upcoming regional electoral process. At the same time, institutions continue with the renovation processes or the confirmation of new authorities. We have more details with our correspondent, Leonel Retamal. From 20 opposition parties in Venezuela recently signed an agreement to stand united in the upcoming elections for regional governors and mayors that will take place in Venezuela this year following the path of those who participated in the parliamentary elections of December 2020. They seek to isolate extremist opposition groups that promote violence or a total boycott of the vote. We do not support insurrectional or unconstitutional methods or foreign invasions or other countries harming our sovereignty in detriment of our people who have only prevented us from successfully taking power, prolonging the suffering of the most vulnerable and dispossessed. The international community is called to pay attention to these processes and not to those who continue to demand sanctions against the country. The Venezuelan people are peaceful. We believe in our constitution and we want to solve things through the constitutional path. These actions are by a minority that does not represent us. We are more than 30 million people. The international community does not have to sit down and talk with just five parties. We are more than that. We are more than 30 opposition parties. They have to listen to all of us, the population in general. We are in crisis and these sanctions have aggravated the situation. This is happening alongside the work of several parliamentary commissions, such as that in charge of carrying out the process to renew the National Electoral Council. 75 nominations for Rector of the Electoral Council have been accepted, and the process is still open to renew this state power. For both this committee and this National Assembly, the only objective is that we can live in peace, that we take a step to distance ourselves from those who have made a living from violence, and think the solution is not democratic. For this committee and this assembly, democracy is the only path in an electoral center. All this is part of a process of dialogue and normalization between the public authorities of the Venezuelan state after the installation of the new National Assembly on January 5th. Commissions investigating the management of the former legislative administration are joining efforts of the Dialogue Committee, which seeks meeting points between the different sectors of society. This analyst explains it the following way. A big debate is happening right now in Venezuela for the relativization not only of the National Electoral Council as the regulatory body but also the different branches of the state to move forward as a single voice, without denying the different voices within Venezuelan society, but with a need to see ourselves, to recognize ourselves as a single country. Meetings with business representatives, churches, universities, political parties, and different social and economic sectors in the country have already taken place as part of this process.